To analyze RNA-seq data in LaserGene, the first step is to create a new transcriptome assembly in SeqMan Engine. Choose Templated Assembly as your assembly type, and then name your project and choose the project save location. Next, load your reference genome or genome template package. In this case, I've added the human genome template package from the DNA Star website. Next, load your sequence data. First, choosing your read technology from the drop down list, and then loading unpaired or paired end reads using the add or add folder buttons. Once your data are loaded, you can specify which files correspond to which samples by checking multiplex data and then choosing customized sample names. In this example, I've loaded different Illumina reads for different human tissues. And in the group name column, I've typed in the tissue name that corresponds to each file. Click OK to save your group names. Review your assembly options, and then click Assemble. After alignment in SeqMan Engine, you can bring your completed assembly into a Raystar with QSeq for normalization and gene quantification. To import, click Start RNA-Seq Project. Then, click Add SeqMan Engine.assembly folder and navigate to your assembly. Click Next to go to the Setup Preprocessing page. Here, you can select the normalization method. I'm going to leave this at the default of RPKM. Under Define the Genes to Process, we can specify which annotations in the genome will be used for gene quantification. I'm going to leave this at the default selection. Click Next to finish preprocessing. After preprocessing in QSeq, your project will be loaded into a Raystar. From here, you can compare gene expression values between experiments using the scatter plot by going to Graphs, Scatter Plot. To change which experiments are displayed, click on the experiment names on the axes. You can then make gene selections directly or using the quick links on the side. From here, you can perform clustering to show a heat map. You can then go to Data, Download Annotations to download annotations from the Go Consortium. And then use the Gene Ontology view to view ontology for selected genes. You can then create gene sets based on both expression values and ontology information. To do this, go to Filter, Filter All, and then specify your search criteria. In this case, I'll create a gene set of genes with a fourfold increase in expression values in brain compared to UHR, and that contain the gene ontology term receptor activity. Once these genes are found, click Remember Results as Gene Set to save the set. You can also view these genes in the gene table by clicking the Select and Show Gene Set and Gene Table link. Now, if we want to see the sequence alignment at any of these genes, we can do that in SeqMan Pro. Here, I'm going to use the SEM A4A gene as an example. Note that this is in chromosome 1. So here I've opened the same RNA-seq assembly file in SeqMan Pro. And you'll notice that we have one contig per human chromosome. To see the alignment for any of these contigs, just double click the contig name. Here, I've already opened this alignment view for chromosome 1 to the region that contains the SEM A4A gene. And you'll notice that we can see the consensus and reference sequence along with the reference features. And below that, there's one yellow pseudo consensus for each of the tissue samples. We can also click the arrow to the left of the sample name to show the actual reads that aligned in that region for that sample. You can do this for each of the samples. From here, you can see coverage along this gene by going to Contig Strategy View. And this shows the depth of coverage along the contig. You'll notice that here we have the SEM A4A gene and the mRNA annotations, which correspond to peaks in the coverage. You can also use SeqMan Pro's integrated SNP report by going to SNP, SNP report to see a list of all putative SNPs in the assembly. If you have further questions about assembling or analyzing RNA-seq data in LaserGene, 
or any other questions about our software, please visit our website at dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.